Hello everybody and welcome to Andy's Bay Reviews. This is what we're looking at today. This is Astrid from Thornbridge. It's a 3.8% um, Juicy Pale. Yeah, Juicy Pale they define it as. Uh, recently, I think it was last year that she just updated their artwork and I love the purple and the gold. I think it looks really, really classy. Looks very classy. Looks like a really excellent beer. And Thornbridge do some amazing beers, so so yeah, looking for, looking forward to this one. Um, yeah, great brewer, um, cracking beers. What more can you say? Um, surprisingly, I got this in home bargains. I paid one pound seventy for it. Um, but the best before day is towards the end of this year. So yeah, cracking one one pound seventy for this from home bargains. I think you pay. I think. Yeah, I've seen this in supermarkets for like three quid. It's an absolute bargain. Got some nice um, hop aromas when I open that. Okay, it's 3.8%. I have to say it is looking a bit... Uh, in that. Tell you what, my pouring lately has been absolutely atrocious, and I've lost some beer there, which is an absolute cardinal sin. To lose some beer is absolutely unforgivable. And to all beer reviewers and beer drinkers out there, I apologise for losing some beer. Right, we have got a hazy light golden colour pale um, pale ale with a beautifully white fluffy head there you go let's see what it was like shall we it's not as in your face as I thought it was going to be for a thorn bridge um, beer I don't quite use the word subtle, but just not as in your face I thought that was going to be. It's nice, it, it, it's fruity, there's some tropical and citrus stuff, uh, citrus aromas coming through. I'm getting orange, I'm getting grapefruit, I'm getting passion fruit. It smells decent, it smells decent. Taste test. Cheers everybody. Flavour wise, it is subtle. Um, it, it, no, subtle's been harsh. I think it's probably a little bit above subtle. Um, it, it's not as in your face, like I said, from the aroma, from the flavour size, I thought it was going to be. There's grapefruit, there's pineapple in there. There's a nice bitterness coming through it as well, which is, which is quite nice. I think it's that big hit of um, when you drink it, you do get a, you do get the flavours coming through. They're not as in your face as I thought they were going to be. There is a nice bitterness when you're drinking it, but now not all the bitterness has subsided, but a lot of it has. So it's it's short on flavour, and and the length of the the length of the flavours isn't isn't particularly good. I have to say. Hmm. 
I'm surprised they call it a juicy pale. So juicy pale ale. Astrid is light, fresh and fruity. Uh, the juicy pale ale is overflowing tropical fruit flavours and aromas from start to finish. With a delicate hot bitterness for balance. Drink as fresh as possible. Uh, what's the date on this one? Yeah, that's for October 2022. So, good date on it. Really good date on it. I'm not getting the juiciness that um, they say on the can I should be getting. Which makes me wonder if it's just if, if it is just a batch issue, or when other people have had anybody's had this, just let me know in the comments below what what you thought about it. Do you think it was a bit short on on juiciness? There's no juiciness there at all. Mm. I find it a little bit disappointing. I have to say, it's 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 soft. It feels nice and smooth in the mouth. I wouldn't describe it as thin. No way would I describe it as thin. I think it's just a bit dull. I think as a pale ale, it's just a little bit dull. Hmm. I expect a lot from this. I expect a lot more, if I'm being honest. Certainly, if I got something that was in something like an Aldi or a Lidl that was described as a juicy pale ale. I might expect it to taste a little bit like this. And at three pounds, I think, if I'd have paid three pounds for this, I think I would be very disappointed indeed. The fact I paid only one pound seventy for it um, means I am a little bit less disappointed than I would have been. See, in supermarkets, you look at like the um, Aldi uh, Memphis Boulevard which is a pale, pale ale but it's got a wonderful infusion of grapefruit in it excuse me which has a ton more flavour than this does for a, I think it's a probably very similar price I do apologise it's the balls in the beer doing that um, yeah do you know what it's, it is it's a, it's a dull it's a dull pale ale it's a dull pale ale um, I am going to score that I'm going to score it 5 out of 10. It may be a bad batch. It may be a bad batch. Like I say, comment on it if you've had this before. Let me know what you think about it. It hasn't got to be excited. I do think it's dull. I do think it's fairly average for a pale ale. Um, the juiciness it says on the can, for me, is not coming through. The bitterness in your mouth. I had a lovely bitterness. All that flavour has gone from my mouth now. I can't, can't taste it anymore. Yeah, sorry, five out of ten from Andy's beer reviews. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. See you on the next beer review, everybody. Cheers.